Now, of course, it's not just about OLED this year. The other big news is 4K or ultra high definition. And once again, LG have been leading the way here, haven't they, George? With, uh, behind us, we've got your new lineup of uh, ultra high definition TVs. We were lucky enough to review the 84 inch, the very first 4K TV, um, just a few weeks ago before Christmas. I was absolutely blown away by it. The, the, the 4K content I was watching was just staggering, the level of detail, the size of the screen. I mean, it just it gave me a, you know, a glimpse of the future, and I want the future now, frankly. So what's LG going to bring us this year? Well, we've been listening to what people have been saying. There's been some amazing comments when people have just literally seen the picture quality of the 84 inch. But one of the things that people are saying is just the sheer size of the it's screen big telly. <laughs> is basically means that not every house can even accommodate that size of television. Um, so what we were committed to always to delivering is that 4K Ultra HD resolution in more flexibility of screen sizes. And now we've announced the 55 inch and 65 inch uh, TVs with the Ultra HD 4K resolution to add and be accompanying our 84 inch in our range. Um, so the, the, the two TVs will launch in quarter four. Um, Ultra HD is a big focus for LG. Um, OLED is the, the primary focus, yeah. but, but the 4K Ultra HD lineup is also a big, a big focus point. Okay, George, you know, we've got all these great displays. The big question really now is where are we going to get the 4K content from? I mean, is LG working on any kind of delivery system or some way of bringing us 4K content? Yeah, so the, the first priority for LG was to, to get the first TV out. So the 84 inch was the key focus. We wanted to you know, show this technology off, show what is capable uh, of the future of what's going to be available right now from LG. And I think the content question is something that LG are very much aware of. Um, right now, there is very limited amount of content. Frankly, there's a, some stuff on YouTube, which is which is great, but really, we're crying out for a broadcast or um, some movies that you can stream in, in that 4K resolution. LG have announced a partnership in Korea with KBS. We will be delivering uh, 4K Ultra HD resolution through broadcast in Korea. That's step one, and uh, you know, we will be working with all the key partners to see how we can start to bring some extra content because it needs to be brought to life. Yeah, you can see it. You've you got to see it. it. No going back. <laughs> Once you see it, you really do believe it. And yeah. uh, I know that sounds quite cheesy, but it it, it really is absolutely mesmerising. The detail is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, once we can get some content to power into these TVs. That's great for the industry and I think it would be a really exciting time. In terms of the Ultra HD versus OLED thing, I, everyone can see the benefits of OLED no matter what you're watching, whether that's standard def yeah. and high or high definition. And you know, really these, these sets are built for these Ultra HD resolution, uh, but they still are great looking TVs, they still deliver great picture quality no matter what you want to watch. And I was really pleasantly surprised at the picture quality even on a SD standard definition signal. I was watching some BBC iPlayer on the 84 inch in, in standard definition in the showroom the other day and I was completely mesmerised. I did the same thing, I watched, uh, it was actually an old, old DVD that wasn't even anamorphically enhanced, yeah. but it still made, managed to make it look good, it was yeah. incredible. And as for 3D, well, the 3D on, on the 84 inch with the 8, 4K panel was absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah, many people have said it's the, it's the best 3D they've ever ever seen on the on the 84 inch. And I know that I read the review from you guys and it was you know, fantastic to read. Um, we've got a great opportunity. LG are you know, always committed to delivering breakthrough technology. And, um, but the one thing that's great about LG is that we do, we do make them a reality and we do make them um, you know, accessible. Um, well, speaking of which, obviously the 84 inch was quite expensive, if I'm being honest. Uh, in terms of pricing with the 55 and 65, will they be significantly yeah, obviously, lower? Yeah, obviously the price point of the 55 and 60, 65 is going to be less than the, the 84 inch. Um, the pricing is, is, is to be confirmed, but you know, these TVs, uh, they're going to become, they'll become a reality. What, when is, the, is there a release date uh, schedule? The, the release dates of the 55 and 65 are in quarter four, so probably around September time. Um, uh, pricing is still still too early to, to know. I have no idea. Um, but the one thing that's great about LG is that we 
we're quite accessible. You know, we offer something for everyone, and uh, with these two TVs, adding to the 84 inch and, and the OLED TVs as well, there really is something for everyone within the LG yeah. lineup. It's going to be a, an exciting year. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on them. I can't wait to get my voice back. <laughs> Thanks, George. Thank you.